Well, my friends, uh, today's reading, we have the last plague on Egypt before Pharaoh uh, allowed them to leave, and that is the death of the firstborn. Now, in chapter number 11, verse number 7, it says, Not a dog shall growl or bark against any of the people of Israel, either man or beast, that you may know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. I say that God's people are always different than the world. There's a distinction. God still requires a distinction today between his people and the people of the world. Now, uh, we go on to read in verse number 12, and we see that he said to for God's people to put the blood on the doorpost, the blood of a lamb. And when the, the angel came and the death of the firstborn of the Egyptians, he would pass over the houses with the blood on the doorpost. And that's like today and you and I, when we have the blood of Christ, that is through repentance and through the, the, the decision to follow him, that's the blood of Christ on our doorpost. There's a distinction between us and the world. And we go on in chapter 13 and we see that the cloud... Uh, guided them during the day and the fire by night. There was a distinction. That didn't happen to the Egyptians. And, and so God always expects uh, uh, his people to be distinct and different from the world. We're different because we follow his commands, follow his word. And this, the Israelites were doing that. They were following him. And I love the fact that not a dog bark. Now I have dogs and my dogs bark a lot. Uh, and when people come to the house or, or an animal comes in the yard, they bark. But if they recognize it's me or someone they're familiar with, they don't bark. But I say to you, so I understand when it talks about not a dog barking, but all the Egyptians were crying out. Uh, they were because of the death of the firstborn and they were crying out. But the scripture said there was a distinction. None of the, none of the dogs in, in the area where the Israelites lived were crying out, were barking or, or, or howling. And, and there was a distinction. So my friends, I want to just challenge you today. Let's follow the word of God. We can't dress like the world. We can't talk like the world. We can't act like the world. We can't be interested in the things that the world is interested in. We got to be interested in following after God. He was to deliver us. He'll, in, in, in our own weaknesses, he will deliver us from the slavery and the bondages that we have if we'll just follow him. And he will create a distinction between us and those of the world. And in the end, there's coming a day of judgment. And those that have uh, are, have chosen to follow him, he'll say, well done, good and faithful servant, enter in. And those that have not, they will be cast out into outer darkness. So I encourage you, my friends, let's uh, follow after God and be different than the world. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.